Hey, it's Nick Granville here. I just thought I'd um, check my two cents in worth about the new John Mayer Paul Reed Smith guitar. Um, a lot of people have been kind of slagging it off and going, you know, it's just a Strat, it's just this, that and whatever, and um, I guess it kind of is. But my, my kind of feelings on it and, and my thoughts about it, and I thought I'd just share this with you today. One of this, the guitars that I've owned for a long time is this old Paul Reed Smith. Um, it's a soap bow guitar, so custom 22, 3 soap bar. It's been modified a bit, had white pickup covers on it, had a metal pickup which has since been taken out. I don't know why. Um, a guitar tech did that, I didn't ask him to, who knows why. Anyway, um, the reason I bought this guitar is I wanted something that was kind of Stratocaster like, you know, with 3 pickups like that, but wasn't a Strat. That was the whole reason why I bought this guitar, and I've kind of been like that, you know, I sort of you know, I like that sound, but it's kind of just that whole thing of, it's so cliche. I mean, Stevie Ray, Jimi Hendrix, uh, John Mayer himself played a strap for a long time. It's been done. For me, I kind of like something else, you know, something new, something, something a bit different. So that's kind of why I bought this guitar. Now, it doesn't sound anything like a strat at all. It's the neck pickup. Makes sense because, you know, P90s. So it has a sound kind of of its own. It's different, you know, P90s, the 25 inch scale was not like a Strat. I mean, 25 and a half on a Strat, this is 25. Gibsons were 24 and three quarter or whatever it is. But they, they all sounded different, maple neck. Uh, with this one, I took the finish off the back of the neck because I always found it kind of, you know, that sort of plasticky feel I ne never dug. Um, but you see, it's sort of, it's not like a Strat, but, but to me, this is kind of PRS moving in a certain direction. And then I bought this guitar, I bought this about 10 years ago, this is funny enough everyone always says to me is that a Squire? <laughs> it's not a Squire at all, I guess the S kind of looks a bit like a Squire, but it's actually if you look at it closely it's a Yamaha and it's called a Super Rock and Roller 405S by Yamaha and this was one of the guitars that Yamaha was sued by a Fender I believe um, because you know it was basically a Fender ripoff. It's made of a different wood, it's made of a Japanese type wood, uh, nickel hardware, you know, nick plate, these, nickel here, um, it had three single coils, I've since changed it, these two outside pickups are Jason Lola's, which are outstanding pickups. Um, I didn't have a guitar with many humbuckers, so I kind of, that's why I did that, so, and that one there, uh, that's a Damasio area, which is my favorite single coil. Um, they don't hum, they sound like single coils, they're great. But this guitar, they got sued for kind of doing something too close to what a Fender was. Now this is a Fender style guitar, but with humbuckers. So it has that kind of a sound. The mini humbuckers don't really sound like humbuckers, but but they add a different kind of quality. But this is kind of where I was going with this, as you can see. And then I got this guitar. This is probably my favorite guitar. It's an Ibanez Talman Prestige. Uh, the, just a stunning instrument. I've changed the pickups. Uh, I can't leave guitars alone, that's just kind of how I am. Um, but that's a Damasio area, that one there is an old Rogue Core pickup out of another Ibanez guitar. And that one there is a Seymour Duncan uh, Little 59, so kind of, I, I don't like single coils in the bridge, I like humbuckers. If I'm going to use the bridge pickup it's because I'm going to rock out on it and that's kind of what I need there. I like warm neck pickups, that's where I live 99% of the time, I'm, I mean, I'm a jazz guy, that's what I do. But this guitar, essentially, when I got it, was like a Telecaster. It had two pickups, and that was it. And I had to put the middle pickup in, because I missed that kind of Stratocaster thing. Now, is it a Stratocaster? Not at all. Not really. I mean, no, no tremolo, different shape, different bridge. 
it's really a Telecaster with a mid pickup, but it's inspired by that Stratocaster thing. <laughs> So it kind of sounds like a Strat, I mean it's a real good working guitar, I can play in almost any gig on this. It's not the best jazz guitar kind of tone but I can do that, so it's not the best country tone because of the setup, can do that. Uh, it's not the best funk tone but it does everything really really well and that's why I like this guitar. And then my most recent uh, guitar that I've ended up with which is this Ibanez Talman Prestige. So this one here it has two single coils and a humbucker with a bunch of different switchings. Um, I'm about to do a review video to show kind of all the sounds that this does because it's epic. It's really awesome. <laughs> So this guitar is, I mean it's a lot like a Stratocaster, um, but better. They've put roasted maple neck, locking tuners, uh, stainless steel frets, titanium bridge, this awesome switching system so you can get all, all these different sounds out of it. Um, so where, where I'm going with this is if you look at the PRS John Mayer Silver Sky Strat, one thing I really like about their guitar that I think is pretty cool is that they're trying to make a Strat better. Now Fender make Fender Strats and they do a great job of them, they're awesome. That's really really cool uh, and we should, you know, ad admire those guitars for what they are but they can be different, they can be better, they can be, they could be worse as well but, but generally people like PRS are trying to make them better. Just like this, this guitar here retails for about 4,000 New Zealand dollars. Now you can get a Strat for cheaper than that, but this will be way better. This should be compared to a Sur or a Tom Anderson or one of those types of guitars. And on that level you kind of got to look at it and go, well, how does it compete? Now this would not be possible without the Stratocaster. If you didn't have the Strat, you wouldn't have this. It's a super Strat, right? <laughs> it's that kind of thing. So. For me, it's like, I love that these companies are trying to do something new. Now, I'm sure there was some kind of business deal with John Mayer, and fair enough, I mean, that guy's huge. Look at his Instagram, he's got two, 2.5, 3 million, whatever it is, followers on his Instagram. His YouTube videos get thousands of views. What do mine get? Like, you know, I'm just a humble guitar player from New Zealand, you know, this little country in the Pacific, which I love. I love living here and I get to travel a lot and play a lot and work with some great musicians. But, you know, that guy's huge and he deserves a good business deal. So I'm sure business was part of it. And so it should be, you know, any of you, I'm sure if your boss offered you a pay rise to go with some other company, you'd probably do it. Um, and fair enough on John for doing that too. I think that the guitar, is, from what I've seen of it, is cool. I'd like to have a check it out, you know, and see kind of what's going on and see what I can kind of learn about how they make these guitars and what's going on. And I've always kind of dug the PRS thing. There's, there's something cool about them as well. Uh, and I've always, you know, like I said, this wouldn't be possible without the Stratocaster. That's not to say it is a Stratocaster, it's a Super Strat. But it's cool, it's freaking cool. And I, I love it and I dig it and I, um, and I think you guys will too, just like you'll probably dig the PRS Silver Sky. So, so kind of don't compare it to a Stratocaster, it's its own thing, you know, and use it, it's a tool. You make the music, not this. This is just a tool to make the music and if it inspires you to make music, then it's a great tool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do a full review of this guitar very, very soon. Um, show some of the different sounds because I've been really impressed with it. There's a lot of things that are really, really happening. Um, you know, it's not much I'd change. I mean, for me, it's kind of like the perfect super strat. Give or take, you know, maybe maybe a few little things I'd probably do, but I'll talk about those in the review. Anyway, um, hope you like this. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. I don't really use Twitter, but Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I'll be posting more content soon. I'm sorry I've been so slack lately. I, I've been flat out 
and doing a show with the symphony orchestra which happens next week uh, playing Frank Zappa's music and it's some of the hardest stuff I've ever had to do I've literally been shedding it for hours every day and still can't really do it. I'm playing acoustic guitar and banjo on that show so if you live in Wellington or you're around Wellington come and check out the show it's gonna be fun um, and the symphony orchestra just sound awesome those guys are amazing they're an asset to our community so anyway thanks thanks for listening and uh, I'll talk to you soon cheers bye